that's um, obviously it's not ideal to you know whatever however many games it was into the season. Um, I think it was week seven, week eight, somewhere in there, where you know Eric's role was you know playing outside, and, you know on run downs and then moving inside and, um, on second and long, third down, two minute things like that. Um, but then we had some you know some injuries inside and we got a little thin. And um, Eric and I have good relationships since you know the day I walked in this building. He's been great for me. So I just pulled him in and I was like, look, you know, and, and I didn't I didn't mandate anything. You know, I said, hey, just bouncing this off for you. Um, what do you think about it? You know, this is kind of what I'm thinking to help us, you know, solidify what we're trying to do in there in the run game and um, let you use your length in there. You know, similar to kind of like what Buck did in 2019 in there. Um, and he was all for it. Um, Eric, and the main thing he showed me that he's an unselfish player. You know, he's a team first guy. You know, he's been a captain the last two years. The guys look up to him. Um, and most people can't make that transition mid-season. You know, if you're going to make that type of transition, it needs usually needs to be in the off-season, giving the OTAs to get kind of uh, acquainted in there and then, you know, sharpen it out during camp and then hit the ground running week one where he gets thrown in there, you know, week seven, week eight. It's not the easiest thing to do. And, you know, Eric excelled in there as the season went on. He got better as the, you know, as – as experience, you know, being a full-time interior guy, you know, stacked up and more reps and got better as the season going on, well, went on. And then, you know, in the playoffs, I thought he played his best ball, you know, was a difference-making type player in there. But run and pass, like he had a lot of run production too. And an individual, throw him down inside and just let him, you know, maybe rush some pop-ups. Um, when we do one-on-one -on -one versus our offensive line, you know, catch him off guard and say, hey, get in there and rush Lake and Tomlinson today and let's just see, you know, what happens. You know, and we did that quite a bit with him during uh, training camp and he'd go down there and you'd see the natural wiggle. So we just kept stacking reps and, you know, the little bit of um, reps he could get in there, um, you know, throughout the first part of the season, you didn't really see it develop until about mid season. Um, but he had stacked some reps in there and we felt confident, you know, when we moved him in there that he was going to go in there and he'd be able to beat guards one-on-one -on -one and, you know, help get our pass rush, you know, where we needed it, you know, the second half of the season going into the playoffs and through the playoffs. So, um, you know, it's not just all of a sudden on Sunday throwing a guy out there saying, hey, I know you've never played in there before, but let's see what you can do. You know, obviously it's, you know, seeing it in practice. It might not be in a team setting all the time because, you know, he needs to get his reps at, at defensive end and be able to sharpen his axe there and get rid of good there. It's probably more the behind the scenes stuff um, in the film room, watching things um, where you got a little bit more time to kind of hone in on. Um, not just him playing defensive end, but him also moving inside. And then it goes, you know, a lot of the individual stuff that we do, you'll see a lot of those guys jumping inside and taking reps inside when we like rushing the, rushing the pop-ups, rushing the rubber tires with the arms on them. And, you know, you just saw, with Arden, you just saw like natural wiggle, uh, that the slipperiness to get on edges, his hands and feet were tied together. So that, you know, told you that, hey, you know, this could possibly, you know, turn into something where he's a, a full-time inside rusher for us in passing situations.